Hello. My name is Valkyrie. I'm a senior at Omaha Northwest. Cheers, Give me a rhyme. And this piece is called War in a Home. I hear bombs going off outside my bedroom door. Tie a knot on the rope and throw the anchor overboard. Cause he's cursing like a sailor who doesn't know what he's fighting for. But once the fighting starts and the war begins, I close my eyes and bow my head below my chin and simply let the oceanic tide roll in. I begin to feel ashamed as if I have sinned. My family's being torn like a grenade from a pin, just wanting to be saved from the soldier within. I've been saluting to the parent who can't ever seem to win. I lean closer to the side so the sea doesn't spray. Then I need to close my eyes, don't want to see the light of day, because frankly, I'm used to cloudy skies, so I'll just keep all of them gray. And maybe then a storm will wash all the pain away. My heart's broken and it's torn, but it's still beating halfway. But still I'm dealing with this war and the end of it's delayed. I'm still stuck here on the shore, left with fragments of decay. I send a message in a bottle, but it floats back to the bay. An adolescent with a problem. What makes me different anyway? Cause you see, I'm not an urgent case in the line for urgent care with no bruises on my face. You'd think the violence wasn't there. But looking off in a space, this world I see doesn't care. The impact I need to brace when I hear somebody swear. Need to find a hiding place, F-bombs dropping from the air. The walls do seem to keep it more quiet, but it seems I hear more when it's silent. My mind's put to test when things turn violent, like I'm oh so godly blessed to be dropped off and left in a different environment, left with post-traumatic stress and a sudden daily guess of who's even really buying it. But I get to thinking, all the things I can't unsee, the ship was sinking with someone more important than me, someone more important like my baby brother, growing up in a home where you learn to take cover. Never left him all alone because we only had each other. And when I broke a couple bones, there was no time to recover. Because when two countries go to war, they aren't the real ones that suffer. It's just left to all the victims who were forced in by a system to get drafted and invented into something with good intentions, but somehow forgot to mention. We were fighting on our own wrong side of the beach, waves crash underneath, floating out to sea, the pier at which we rest, I will 